Here we are with Summertime Rendering Episode 4. And yeah, last episode was very interesting because it basically opened the gates to theorycraft, basically how everything works in this world. Um, and was very interesting, especially the end. And I guess we will see what happens next, if it's real, if it's fake. But yeah, if you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say let's get to the episode. Here we go. <clears throat> so she's real? Seems real. <clears throat> Didn't you die? So is this maybe another form of her? Or maybe a copy? Yeah, would be my assumption too. Oh. Okay. So she kind of knows. But is she like confused? Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm He's crying. Yeah. That you are here. So, <clears throat> I mean, we don't know if it's a, it could still be a doppelganger, right? A copy. Or maybe this is like a past version, because we don't know if... And it is. Of course. <clears throat> like, love love or family love, kind of like. Um, and the opening's so good. But <clears throat> here's the thing. We don't know if it's maybe a copy. A doppelganger, right? It could also maybe be like a double version of her in the sense that we don't know if Shinpei has a copy or a doppelganger walking around but we know that Shinpei was at two locations at the same time basically because at the first day again or the first time he was here he got here um in the bistro the one customer said that he got asked by Shinpei about a woman with big habonka gazongas right um but that was the first time, so at that point, we don't know if that was a copy of Shinpei or the doppelganger, right? Or if that was just a, another version of him, somehow. And if that was not a, not a copy or doppelganger of him, just another version of him, however that works, maybe it's the same for Ushio. So, yeah. <clears throat> This is getting like super confusing because it's not, it's maybe not just doppelgangers. 
but like another version of a person that somehow can travel through time or something oh, yeah. it gets super confusing But maybe it's just a copy that tries to get closer. Yeah, I wonder what would what the others would say if they see Ushio suddenly. Or maybe just he can see her? I mean, why does she have like a physical body? I mean, you went through the festival. She should know, right? <laughs> I'm confused. <clears throat> it doesn't think of itself as a shadow. I mean, if it's a shadow that just wants to trick him, then of course it wouldn't be like, hey, I'm a shadow. Is she a bit of a klutz? A ditz? <laughs> Will the other see her? And there's a second Mio. Is it the knife or the octopus? Wow. You're supposed to be dead. <laughs> oh my god. K.O. Makes sense. If you have the chance to talk to a girl that is supposed to be dead, might as well take it and talk, right? Yeah, I mean, did he ask her if she saw herself before she died? Yeah, she has like no recollection of it all. Of anything, it seems like, maybe. Ass vibration. Real Mio or fake Mio? Real Mio. <clears throat> now nah, I just try to Im imitate her voice. <laughs> Am I good at it?
I mean, this is dangerous because the other Mew, the fake one, saw her. I have a bad feeling. <clears throat> but I mean, if she is now back when she normally died, maybe she can come back again if she dies again, like... Like Shimpe? Okay. <clears throat> I think the, always these like folk laws and like rituals, if you want to call it that way, I don't know is a, a better word right now. I think these are always interesting. Like in this case, everything that washes ashore has like a god inside him. Or did I misread it? And then they keep it and then they, they burn it instead of like throwing it away. Oh, he wants to. Likes you. And he's like, huh? Who? <laughs> Oblivious. Oh, here he goes. Is she rejecting him? I feel a rejection coming. Yep. Obviously. Oh, Ushio. <laughs> He's like, what is she doing here? She realizes it. She has a swimsuit still on. I mean, how many people are there with blonde hair, right? And the voice. The face, dude. <laughs> I am the warrior of love. Yeah, this must be really crazy. Dude, this... I mean, this is like a small island, right? So, I guess everyone knows everyone. Yeah, I guess they are all suspicious.
Wow, I didn't, but I didn't expect that it expected this feedback. Is this a fake one? Wait, what? It's a fake Sam Shimpe. So where's the real one? What is going on? Dude, in the middle of a festival. He broke her arm so that she, to the point that she's bleeding. So I guess when he was going to them, he got attacked. Getting pulverized. Mio. Did she switch places with him? Damn, she's strong. So they are basically superhuman, super strong. And those expressions. How many? What's she doing? Luring everyone off and then killing them? Dude, this is getting more crazy, dude. What is going on? Traitor? Oh, Ushio? So they can get the memories from the people they copy. So every time they make a copy, they have the memories up to that point. Too much text, I have to read it again after this episode. Mother? In four dimensions. That's smart, I guess. 
If you don't kill him, he can't return. Bro. <laughs> Just like that. So, I I talk about it after this episode. God damn it, dude. Dude, what the fuck? Black? Oh, a gun! Someone shot her? Who? The police guy? Oh no, the girl! The woman! Woo! Dude, the head is gone. <laughs> Dude, if I would, would be Shimpe, I would be like, kill me, please. I have a plan. I like her. She's interesting. I want to know more about her. So I guess she investigates this place. Bruh. Okay, <laughs> another crazy episode. Let me know what you think. Um, so my idea right now is that there are origins of those copy thingies, right? Doppelganger thingies. They are the origin. And that is like the Mio, the Shinpei version we saw now, and I guess the mother that is prob that is that is sleeping from what it sounds like. And they, they are the origins, and they can make copies of others, create copies, and then those are around, like the little girl, like the second Ush uh, Ushio, like the police officer, and all that stuff. <clears throat> but I guess those two and the mother are probably the origin, except there is another one that is maybe the father, but they didn't mention him so far. So for now, I just guess those two and the mother but the mother is like out of the picture i would say because she's sleeping or whatever so i guess it's only like the mio and the shimpe we saw now um and they are basically the origins and make copies of others i guess from what it sounds like but so they can make copies of people and just take the form of that person and up to that point they get all the memories of that person which is super interesting so yeah confirms that if there's a shadow it's pointless to have a code word because the, sh the 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 copy would know it because it has information. Um. Um. So it's not like I like I like I was theory crafting that it's maybe what the person that makes a copy knows of the person is what the copy knows. It's what the person knew up to that point that does the copy know, which is basically everything the person knows, which is super crazy and super broken, basically. Um, but okay, the other guys that were around, our friends, they were all fine. The only thing that I'm missing now is basically what is going on with Shinpei when he, it's the first day, talk to the customer and ask him about the woman when he didn't really do it. So there was a second Shinpei already, which is the same that the original Shinpei did. So I can't imagine that it was the fake Shinpei, right? Because why? Would the real Shempei unknowingly do the same thing, the exact same thing, in a second attempt, basically, on this, or third attempt? Third attempt. Um, so I guess it was a real Shempei, and not, not, not a fake one. Um, so how does that work, and who is this Ushio? They 
said something about um I didn't check the episode. I didn't rewatch the episode be because I was so hyped to talk about this. Um I have to rewatch it again, but they said something about she wanted to switch. I mean, I guess I can check really quickly, right? Uh, let me take a quick look. Where is it? 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 There we go. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a monster. I can't let her go. Jimpe. Jimpe, explain. There's no way I can trade places with someone who's just... Uh, there's no way you can trade places with someone who's just had a funeral. You never were planning on switching, were you? Why weren't you listening listening at me? And she's who? Who are you? <clears throat> so, that's confusing because it seems like that the Ushio is also a copy. Like, also, like, one of the origins, maybe. <clears throat> maybe? Because they talk about switching, and I guess a copy can't switch. It's just a copy and stays a copy. So it must be like one of those origins, maybe, that started this whole thing and can transform into people. And then they can, like, like the Shinpei, the fake Shinpei now. He can basically take the form of Shinpei, but he can also take the form of someone else. Like, he just can't switch places with whoever he, like, copies, right? So I guess the Ushio is the same. Maybe. So who is it? She doesn't know the sh the fake Shimpei. I guess this is just a mystery we can't really figure out right now. Um, it could be like another one of those origins, or maybe, and maybe because she doesn't know who it is, maybe she has like some memory loss or something. Hmm. Yeah. Or maybe it's like, I would say maybe it's like a, it's like a failed copy they made, a, a copy that didn't turn out well and that has like a, its mind of its own and that it's like against them. But then she would still know, I guess, and then she couldn't switch, I guess, because I guess, like I said, copies probably can't turn copy others, right? They just stay the copy they are. Um, or maybe they can. I don't know. It's. I guess we just have to wait for more information. But man, this is getting like really crazy. Like what is what, who is who, why, and what all, what is the mother, who are they, what is the plan and everything. Crazy episode. But yeah, um, six and a half minutes. I guess that's a lot of talking and yeah, a lot of crazy stuff happening. I can't wait for the next episode. But yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you thought. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.